Welcome to the second TensorFlow workshop. I want to quickly congratulate Mike for successfully completing the challenge of the first workshop. The GitHub link to his solution is in the description below. Last time we covered image recognition. This time we're going to try image generation using a technique called GANs or generative adversarial networks. You may have already come across this actually, perhaps in the news when you have been told this image was AI generated and it looked pretty weird and it left you wondering, what is this? Well, this uses that same approach, although it has gotten better over the past few months, and you get to try it out for yourself. One cool thing about this workshop is that we will be using a new and improved TensorFlow Hub. Recently, I was in Zurich for a TensorFlow roadshow where the announcement was made. Of course, everyone was excited, but there was not much in the way of details. Now we get to be amongst the first to give the new version a go. Let's jump into it. Last time, we used Keras, which allowed us to easily import the mobile net model. This time, we do not even need Keras at all. We can simply import the module via the URL path on tfhub.dev. And we also need to import the TensorFlow Hub library. This allows us to integrate the hub URL path to Python as an object. Then there are some functions to handle the images. Notably, it uses PIL or the Python imaging library. Next, there are the two main parts of the notebook. The first part of the notebook generates images based on a single category. The second part is based on a mix of two image categories. What is neat about Colab is that it allows you to have a graphic interface to play with the parameters. You have a handy dropdown to select the image categories, but it is limited to a thousand images. Now let's take a look at the generated images for cheeseburgers. Those look like pretty realistic photos to me. The model has even generated different types of buns. Would you eat it though? Let's take a look at pizza, the staple of tech meetups. The model seems to think that all pizza must have pepperoni. Things get a bit funky when we combine image categories. I present to you the pizza burger. Hmm, would you eat it? That doesn't look so bad. I'm sure there could be stranger combinations. Play around with the image categories a bit. If you post any images on Twitter, mention me so I can have a look. All right, now it is time for the challenge. The first challenge is to try to explain in your own words what exactly is going on. How do generative adversarial networks function? How do the different parameters impact the functioning of the GANs model? In your own words though, no copy and pasting from Wikipedia. And the second challenge is to include a new custom image category beyond the 1,000 categories already included. Don't forget to document your work. And you will share your progress in the form of small presentations towards the end of the workshop. Good luck and happy coding.